Again, this one is trivial in CAD, but I'll show you how to do it if you did not have CAD available. In other words, if you're doing layout on a uh, piece of sheet metal or wood or whatever you're working with, or even cardboard. But uh, I also am going to try to uh, show this with a, a camera, actually doing it with a compass and a ruler. But we will see how that works out. Anyhow, what I've done here is I randomly drew a uh, an angle, and if we want to have an, we want to exactly divide this angle in half. Uh, with CAD, it's trivial, and all we have to do is go to uh, lines, I believe, and bisect an angle. And uh, we'll make the length 20, which I don't know how that's going to look. I'll make this my fin finish line, final line. And we're going to have one bisector. So we click on these two things to form the angle. And we have a bisector. If I want to make that a little bit more reasonable for the lengths that somehow I drew, because everything was drawn randomly, what I'll do right here here and why didn't it happen okay now it's happening and so now I have a bisector that's actually longer and is drawn over top of this first one but that's okay for what we're showing here okay let's not do it trivially tr however you would say that word let's do it uh, a little more complicated way the way we would have to do it if we were using a piece of paper and a pencil or a piece of wood and a pencil or whatever we're working with. So first thing I'm going to do is delete my bisector and both parts of it and that's not going to work that way so let's do it this way. Okay I got the whole thing. Alright so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle and we're going to draw center and point. And uh, basically with this we would have a compass. And we would have the compass centered on the apex of that angle. And then we would uh, go out here to whatever length we thought we needed. Okay, now we have two lines that we know are the same length. Now we'll draw another circle, and this time we will go to the intersection of where it meets up with this one, and free position. And since I didn't measure things, I'm going to have to copy that circle. So we'll do a copy. And we'll go from the intersection to this intersection and I screwed up. Uh, we're going to uh, we'll keep them. Let's draw a little bit bigger circle. If I was smart I would delete this whole video and start over but I'm not going to be smart. So I draw a little bit bigger circle and then I'm going to copy it again I copy from intersection to intersection and now I have a little bit of overlap let's delete those two that are uh, extraneous right now so we'll delete the two that we would not want to use. And now we will draw a line. And the line will be from the intersection of the apex. And let's pick another color. To 
to the intersection of those two circles. I'm going to use the farthest one because that would be the most accurate if we were doing this by pencil. And we now have our bisector. Let's go ahead and delete the construction lines. by layer so I can do a one click deal and for the heck of it let's just guarantee that what we're reading is right so I will take the dimensions means that I have to go back no I'm there and I'll measure the angle of this line to this line and let's get off of intersection Okay, and now let's measure the angle from this line to this line. And I must not be on taking angles. And they both match, so it is an exact, exact bisector. So things worked. And that's the way you do bisector if you do it by hand. I am going to attempt to record right over my shoulder while I do that same thing with a compass and a ruler. And uh, we'll see how well my uh, recording method works. Okay, here's Gary Fox back again. This time we're going to do it in real life. So let's say we got this piece of paper. Let's just say it was a block of wood. It could be anything. And we have us our, ourselves a line on this thing. And uh, we're forming an angle between that line and the edge of the paper. So first step is to draw a arc. And so I have to try to get right at the very edge of the line and where that very edge of the paper where it meets that line. I don't have to draw a complete circle. All I gotta do is just draw tick marks at the two points. So there's our two tick marks. Now I have to draw a little bit longer arc. And I'm gonna make for sure that it's greater than 50%. I'm not gonna do like I did on the uh, video, on the CAD version. And all I have to do is just draw it in one direction. Notice I didn't change the uh, compass. And so there is my intersection. And now to draw the bisector line, all I have to do is use a straight edge, go from the intersection of my two lines here, one of which is the edge of the paper, and one intersection is the intersection of those two arcs. Line it up. That's the hardest part of the whole deal. Now that I got it lined, I gotta try to get my pen uncovered. And when I do, the ruler slips, of course. So I think I'm there. And I have a bisector line. And that's all there was to it. Thank you for listening. Sorry for the abrupt end on the video. My uh, camera battery died. Again, hopefully it was uh, worth your time. Thank you.